Hi, I'm here on site at Embedded World 2025 and joining me today is Ravindra Singh, Technical Product Manager at Worth Electronic. We're going to be talking about the products their wireless connectivity and sensors division offers and deep dive into the key features of one of these products, the Adrastia module. Ravindra, thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you very much for giving the opportunity. So could you start us off by providing a quick introduction to yourself? Yeah, myself is Ravindra. I work as a product manager for company Birth Electronic ISOs. I am responsible for products like wireless connectivity and sensors in Birth Electronic ISOs. And could you also introduce the company, Worth Electronic? Yeah, so Birth Electronic uh, is uh, the uh, electronic manufacturing company which has the products including active components as well as passive components. I come from the division of uh, uh, active components where we produce the products for wireless connectivity and sensors. So what products does the wireless connectivity and sensors division offer? So in uh, wireless connectivity and sensors, we have wide range of products, including uh, all short range as well as the long range products like uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, property models. We have the long range like LoRaWAN and the cellular connectivity options also for our customers. In terms of sensors, we have different type of sensors like for temperature, humidity, acceleration sensors, differential pressure sensor. So all different options for our customers to meet their requirements uh, for their applications. Yeah, that's great, thank you. Um, following on from that, 2G and 3G networks, of course, being phased out across the world at different times. So are there alternative cellular, cellular connectivity options that you offer? Yes, yeah, sure. So as you rightly said that the uh, world is switching off the 2G and 3G mobile networks. And if you, especially in the Europe, if you'll see there is not many countries where there will be coverage for 2G beyond uh, 2025 onwards. So this is the right time for the customers to switch from 2G, 3G to the uh, newest technology like LTE or 5G. So we have the uh, new product called Adastia, and this product is based, uh, supports the LTE, Katam and NB-IoT technologies, and they are very suitable technologies as a replacement for the 2G and 3G technologies. That sounds really interesting. Could you talk us through what the key features of the Adrastria module are? Yeah, sure. So if you'll see, the Adrastria module has to def uh, supports two mo modes of uh, operations, LT, CATAM, and NB-IoT. And it also has the integrated GNSS as well as it has integrated Cortex-M4 uh, microcontroller. And this microcontroller is open for only for customer application development. So it means that customer does not need to buy the external microcontroller, he can develop his own applications on the Cortex M4. Along with that, it has integrated GNSS also, which supports GPS and GLONASS. And of course, it supports all sort of uh, IP-based uh, technologies or the protocols like TCP, IP, MQTT, LWM2M, or uh, any HTTP, HTTPS. So it's, it's quite uh, out of the box solution from us. I understand one key feature is that it supports dual mode connectivity, which yeah. I thought is interesting. What was the market need for this feature? Yeah, so actually this LTM and NB-IoT was, uh, uh, came as a part of uh, 3GPP release 13 and uh, few of the countries in the Europe are opting for NB-IoT technology and few countries are opting for LTM and few countries have both technologies. So since our module has supports both the technologies, it fits for all countries in the Europe or across the world, I would say, because the country where, let's say, country does not have the LTM support, but they have the NB-IoT support, then our module can directly switch to NB-IoT and the vice versa. If country has the LTM and does not have the NB-IoT, it, it can switch back or automatically select the technology which is available in the uh, country. It sounds like a really useful feature. Yeah, exactly. So what are the applications in which it can be used as a connectivity solution? So there are lots of IoT type of applications, mainly the uh, battery powered applications where our Idustria can fit into. Like, uh, uh, and, and I would say that uh, the, having the microcontroller, GNSS, everything, the size of the uh, micro, uh, size of the module is just 13 by 14 mm. That means it can fit in all the size constraint applications. Like uh, you have a smart helmet or you have some uh, uh, predictive maintenance uh, solutions. So all type of IoT solutions it can fit 
uh, well. And for those customers who are interested in evaluating Adrastia, how can they do that? So we have multiple options for our customers. We provide the evaluation kits. We have the feather wings to do uh, kind of uh, some uh, POC or the proof of concept immediately. And we have the softwares to evaluate our uh, uh, products. They can reach out to our salespersons or they can uh, directly contact our uh, uh, through our websites. And we have lots of options for our customers to evaluate the products. Well, that's great. Thank you for providing an overview of that. Thank Ravindra. you. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here.